Good morning. In today's video, I'm going to try to explain why I add so many different things to my pet's food. If you've been following us on any platform for really any amount of time, you've probably seen me make some in-depth bowls where I add some pretty crazy toppers, and for a lot of you, it might seem like a little bit of overkill, which it totally can be depending on what I'm using, but I figured if I broke it down with an example of a human breakfast that I build on with layers and compare this to my dog's breakfast, it might make a little bit more sense. If I were to hand you a bowl of dried granola all by itself for breakfast, although it might not feel very appetizing, you would actually have a pretty decent meal in front of you. Granola provides protein, a ton of important micronutrients like iron, vitamin D, folate, and zinc, and it doesn't take very much to get everything you need to start off your day. However, if instead of just using dry, plain granola, I added the granola on top of a bowl of high-protein yogurt, you now have a bowl that not only contains all of the amazing nutrients from the granola, but we've added a ton of extra benefits. The yogurt brings in a ton of extra protein, calcium, a variety of different vitamins and minerals, and live cultures of probiotics to help support your gut microbiome and digestion. A small handful of blueberries adds a layer full of rich antioxidants alongside fiber and lots of vitamins to help support a healthy heart, memory, the urinary and gastrointestinal systems, and more. At this point, we're doing pretty good, but of course you can always add more so that your breakfast is even better. Sprinkling some hemp seeds adds omega-3s and omega-6s, which are both essential fatty acids, and hemp seeds contain high levels of amino acids, which are essential for your artery and vein dilation. They also contain nutrients like magnesium and extra protein. I also add on some local bee pollen to help with my environmental allergies and give myself a little bit of a general immune boost. Bee pollen is also known to be anti-inflammatory and it's good for supporting the liver. Lastly, I'm adding a nice drizzle of honey, which has been used for its nutritional value for thousands of years. It has antibacterial properties, contains 31 minerals, antioxidants, and it's a great energy source. Now this little parfait bowl is packed full of nutrients. It's going to keep me full for a lot longer than just the plain bowl of granola and it makes for a very healthy breakfast. But if I add an egg on the side and a couple of pieces of chicken sausage, I'm really going to be able to tie everything together. Eggs are another superfood that's packed full of protein and a wide range of vitamins and minerals, and eggs are actually one of the few foods that are considered a complete protein source. This means that eggs contain all nine of the essential amino acids. And adding a couple pieces of chicken sausage will keep us full for longer because of the high dose of protein. To finish off my breakfast, I'm going to have a small cup of coffee and a glass of orange juice, which of course both have their own individual benefits, but I'm mostly incorporating them to have something that brings me a little bit of joy, and of course, I'll never say no to a little caffeine. You could have stopped building on this breakfast at any one of the layers that I mentioned before, and you would have had a healthier version of breakfast each time. And this is the same way I approach feeding my pets, giving them just their base, regardless of what you're using, whether it's kibble or wet food or home-cooked food or even raw food is all totally fine. And each one brings their own benefits, just like a bowl of granola has benefits all by itself, but you can always build on your base to make it better. So for an example of a meal I would feed my dog, today I'm using raw food for my base instead of something like kibble, which is just going to be more biologically appropriate and more nutritious, but you could add any of these layers that I'm going to use to any base. I always recommend adding a hydration to any base, and one of my favorite things to use is bone broth, but there's a variety of different things you can use. Hydration is especially important for dry diets like freeze-dried raw and kibble. Rehydrating the food makes it easier to digest and easier for your pets to pull nutrients from. Adding on extra toppers like organ meats, pumpkin, green-lipped mussels, and whole prey fish each add a layer of benefits in the same way we did when we added an extra layer of ingredients to our little yogurt parfait bowl. For this meal, I added in some bison and heart, which is high in taurine, and as ironic as it sounds, eating heart is actually really good for the heart. Also added a scoop of pumpkin, which is good for digestion, and full of vitamins and minerals and green-lipped mussels that are high in glucosamine and chondroitin to support healthy hips and joints. In the background, you'll continue to see me adding in more layers, including things like salmon roe balls and whole prey sardines, which are full of omegas to support healthy brain function and provide a soft and shiny skin and coat. I also add in items like a dental powder, a general hip and joint supplement, along with bee pollen, a handful of blueberries, and even a quail wing later on. If you find yourself curious about the quail wing or other larger items like rabbit feet or hairy cow ears that you might have seen us using that also might give you a little bit of the heebie-jeebies, I do have a blog post that talks all about the benefits of chews with fur and feathers on our website, Milk and Holly. Now, I completely understand that meals like this for dogs and cats can feel extremely intimidating and very over the top, and I'm not going to tell you that you're wrong for thinking that way, but I feed my pets the way that I do because I've seen the benefits of feeding a nutritious diet. Any single one of these items would add benefits to your pet's food, so if you saw just a singular thing that you liked and wanted to try, you can. This doesn't have to be all or nothing.